Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. If you guys are tuning in for the first time or tuning back in after a while being away, then I just want to extend a very warm welcome to you. And just let you know, first and foremost, our purpose is to pray for you and share God's truth with you right out of this living word of God. It is to create this into a community where you are known, loved, and valued. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Today, friends, I want to talk about the importance of talking to God and declaring who He is, who our God is, declaring who He is, and just telling Him how simply how awesome He is, and and how great His power is. So it's just declaring stuff because I believe, friends, I am a strong believer in when you declare stuff, you start to live a different way. When you declare stuff, you start to live a different way. I truly am a big believer in that. So friends, I hope you're ready to be blessed by this video, be blessed by the Word of God. Today, I believe this topic is for you to hear. We're going to be in Psalm 66, verse 3. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to flip along to the passage with us, or turn on your Bibles, and please flip those as well. And as you flip into the passage, let me put this up in a brief word of prayer. Father God, would you speak to us right now? God, will you teach us to declare who you are so we can see you more clearly and grow in our faith, in our walk with you. God, we love you. God, we do not love you enough, so will you help us love you more? Amen. Friends, Psalms 66, verse 3 says this. It says, Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that... That, that your enemies cringe before you. Amen, friends. What does this mean? It's saying that we need to say to God, how awesome are your deeds? What deeds? What God has done for us? How awesome are they? They, they are awesome. I agree. What God has done for me, the good stuff I have in my life, it's awesome. So praise God for that. So say to God, so... It starts by simply us say, saying to God how awesome are his deeds. Then the, thing, then the second thing we need to say is how great is your power. Because he's so powerful. More than me, more than anyone in this world. So great is your power, what? That your enemies cringe before you. Because of God's power, the enemies cringe before God. Why? Because God is powerful. God is stronger than any force of darkness and any force of evil. So what's my encouragement for you today? My encouragement is this. If you're going through a difficult situation right now, first of all, my heart goes out to you. Actually, all of our hearts go out to you. As a Chicago Prayer and Hope team, we are here to pray for you. You're not alone. But the second thing I want you to take away from this video is this. Just because you're going through something difficult, doesn't mean you're alone. You're not alone. And you can have a response. You can take upon the authority and declare who God is. Declare his power. Declare his deeds. And start to live a new way. Today, come back home if you have been far wandering away from God. Today, this, this is an invitation to come back home. Come back to reality. The, you are made for God. You are His beloved. He loves you. And He has a plan for you. So come back home. Come into redemption. You're not too far gone. You're not. So come back home today. That's my encouragement for you today. Start declaring who God is. Start declaring it. Then once you declare it, you will believe it. Amen? Amen. I want to give you a chance, the chance to respond. We always give this invitation now. At at the end of every video because we truly believe this is, is one of the most important prayers you can ever pray is getting right with God. So please close your eyes, please bow your heads and let me pray over you. So Father God, I just live up to all these people watching this video, Lord. If someone needs to give their life to you, Lord, I pray they would respond right now. I pray they would say, Father God, I give my life to you, Lord. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you rose again on the third day. God, God, I wanted a gift. That free gift of salvation, which is you. So, Lord, I turn from sin, I turn to you, and I accept you as my Savior. 
thank God for those of us who have already made, who who once made the decision, decisions, but who chose to walk away from you. Lord, I pray that we would come back to you right now. I pray that we would say, Father God, Lord, what was I thinking to walk away from you? So God, I come back to you right now. And God, for those of us who have already made this decision, God, would we just have a desire to grow deeper into you, to go deeper into your word, to go deeper into prayer, to go deeper into communion with you, God? Would we not be satisfied being this way? Would we not be satisfied until we are in the presence of you, God? So, Lord, humble us every day before you. Oh, God, we need you. We pray this in your name. Amen. So, friends... If you just prayed one of these prayers today, would you please let us know which prayer you prayed so we can rejoice with you? All these three prayers are, all these three prayers that we just prayed are very important. So please let us know which prayer you prayed so we can rejoice with you as heaven rejoices. If we can serve you in any way that we can, please don't have the time to reach out to us. We would love to serve you, walk alongside you, and just be here for you. Until next time, we hope you have a blessed day, and remember to go in, uh, yeah, remember to keep Christ number one. And remember that you are loved. Have a great day.